Hello, welcome to the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. In this video, we are going to learn how students start a class in school. Are you excited? This should be fun. Miss Anderson is teaching students who are learning English. Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Anderson, and I am your English teacher. How are you today? Good morning, Good morning teacher. teacher. We, are we are doing, doing well. well. Now, I'd like to start today by practicing a proper greeting. Emma, could you please show us how to greet someone? Yes, Miss Anderson. I would say, hi, how are you? Excellent, Emma. Jason, how would you respond? I'm good, thank you. How about you? Perfect. Now, Kate, your turn to initiate a greeting. Hi, Miss Anderson. How's your day going? Thank you, Kate. My day is going well. Now, let's mix it up. Jason, why don't you start the next round? Hi, Kate. How's it going? Hi, Jason. I'm doing well, thanks. And Emma, how are you? Hi, Kate. I'm good, thank you. Great job, everyone. You're catching on quickly. Now, let's transition to our topic for today. Everyday English conversations. We'll explore how to engage in common dialogues you might encounter in daily life. Any questions before we dive in? No, no questions. questions. Fantastic. Let's make this journey into everyday English conversations an enjoyable one. We're going to switch things up a bit and have a casual chat. Let's dive into something fun. How about we talk about our favorite hobbies? Oh, that will be a fun topic. I'll start. I love hiking and exploring new trails. It's so refreshing to be outside in the fresh air. That's wonderful, Kate. Exploring nature can be so invigorating. How about you, Emma? What's your favorite hobby? I really enjoy painting. It's my way of expressing creativity, and it helps me relax after a busy day. Art is a fantastic outlet. Do you have a favorite subject or style you like to paint? I love landscapes, especially sunsets. The colors are so vibrant. Beautiful choice. Now, Jason, how about you? Any hobbies you're passionate about? I'm into playing the guitar. It's a great stress reliever, and I love experimenting with different tunes. That's fantastic, Jason. Do you have a favorite genre of music you like to play? I enjoy playing a bit of everything, but classic rock is my favorite. Excellent. It's wonderful to see such diverse interests. Now let's all take a moment to ask questions or share thoughts about each other's hobbies. Emma, any questions for Jason? Jason, do you have a favorite classic rock band? Definitely Led Zeppelin. I love their sound. Great question, Emma. Now, Kate, anything you'd like to ask about painting or playing the guitar? Emma, have you ever tried painting landscapes inspired by your hiking trips? No, I haven't, but I think that's a fantastic idea, Kate. I should definitely give it a try. Maybe you could give me some tips to get started. Oh, I'd love to do that. And maybe I could go on a hike with you sometime. This has been a fantastic conversation, everyone. Remember, expressing your interests is a great way to connect with others and practice your English language skills. Keep up the excellent work. Laughter fills the air as the students, now at play, continue their conversation in a more relaxed setting. I'm so glad we get a recess. It's a good break. Let's practice our English and talk about some of our favorite things. What's everyone's favorite movie right now? I recently watched this fantastic comedy. It had me laughing the whole time. Action films are my go-to. The suspense and adrenaline are unbeatable. I really like the car chase scenes. Movies are great, but I'm all about music. What's your current favorite song, Emma? Oh, anything by Taylor Swift. I think she is wonderful. How about your favorite foods? I'm craving pizza. Pizza is a classic choice, Jason. I'm all about sushi lately. So many flavors. As the recess bell rings, the students wrap up their conversation, energized from the playful interaction. Now, let's follow them back to the classroom. Welcome back, everyone. Let's wrap up our day with a quick spelling and vocabulary session. Who can spell the word adventure? I can. A-D-V-E-N-T-U-R-E. -E. Adventure. Excellent, Kate. Now, Emma, can you spell creativity? C-R-E-A-T-I-V-I-T-Y, creativity. Well done, Emma and Jason. How about enthusiastic? Hmm. E-N-T-H-U-S-I-A-S-T-I-C-E, -S -S -E, enthusiastic. Fantastic, Jason. You're all spelling champs. Now, let's discuss the meanings of these words. 
Kate, what does adventure mean to you? Adventure is about exploring new and exciting things, taking risks, and making memories. That's great explanation, Kate. I see you're ready to share. Now, Emma, how about creativity? Creativity is the ability to think outside the box, come up with unique ideas, and express oneself in various ways. Excellent, Emma. Jason, what does enthusiastic mean? Being enthusiastic means showing excitement, passion, and a positive attitude towards something. Very good. Now let's throw in a challenge. Kate, can you use adventure in a sentence? Sure. Last summer, my family and I went on an exciting camping trip, and it turned out to be the greatest adventure of our lives. Wonderful. Now, Emma, can you do the same with creativity? Of course. In art class, we were encouraged to unleash our creativity by painting with unconventional materials like spaghetti noodles and bubble wrap. Excellent examples. And Jason, your turn. How would you use enthusiastic in a sentence? Despite the rainy weather, the soccer team remained enthusiastic during the match, cheering each other on and giving their best effort. Perfect. You've all nailed it. It's fantastic to see you actively participating. Before we wrap up, remember to use these words to reinforce what you've learned today. We will! Keep up the great work, everyone. Using English in your daily interactions is the key to expanding your vocabulary. I'm proud of your efforts. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Take care. Kate. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Here are some of the vocabulary words used. Greeting. The act of saying hello or welcoming someone. Proper. Appropriate or correct in behavior or manners. Initiate. To begin or start a conversation or action. Response. A reply or answer to a question or statement. Transition. To move from one topic or activity to another. Engage. To actively participate or be involved in something. Dialogues. Conversations or discussions between two or more people. Encounter. To come across or meet someone or something. Questions. Inquiries or requests for information. Passionate. Having a strong and intense enthusiasm or interest. Outlet. A way to release or express emotions or creative energy. Genre. A category or style, especially in the arts or entertainment. Invigorating. Making one feel refreshed, revitalized, or energized. Suspense. A feeling of excitement or tension regarding the outcome of an event. Adrenaline. A hormone that increases heart rate and prepares the body for intense physical activity. Craving. A strong desire or longing for something. Spelling. The act of forming words letter by letter. Enthusiastic. Showing intense and eager enjoyment or interest. Efforts. Hard work or attempts made to achieve a particular goal. Did you have fun? Let's watch the video again. Thank you for watching the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.